हाई व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड यू एपिसोड ऑफ द ट्रेवल गाइड ऑन योर फेवरेट चैनल रोज बॉल एज पार्ट ऑफ अवर एक्ो टूरिज्म जर्नी वी हैव कम टू अ प्लेस नॉन एज पार्लोड इट हैज अको टूरिज्म प्रोजेक्ट ओवर दर अ ट्रॉपिकल बॉटेनिक गार्डन एंड अ रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इज ऑल्सो सिटेटेड ओवर दर सो वी आर ऑन आवर वे टू पार्लोड विच इज ट्वेल्व क्लोज टू थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम ट्रिवेंड्रम सो गैस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अवर जर्नी एंड फाइंड वॉट पार्लोड होल्ड इन फॉर अस Palod is located 35 kilometers from Trivandrum on the way to Kuttalam. It's a lush green area, almost like a, a very good. It has got a very good hillocks surrounded by rubber plant plantations and all. What you see surrounding me is the Western Guards. Actually, Palod is a small hamlet surrounded by these Western Guards with very lush vegetation and it has got a lot of rubber plantations. You can see the hillocks that surrounds this area. This is the Western Ghats, basically, and Palod currently is close to seven kilometers from where I am traveling right now. I have entered into a small pocket of a road, but it's a very nice road that I am driving through. It's not; it, it has not got any potholes. Maybe because most of the tourists they have not reached over here, and I am telling you, nobody has ever covered this area in its true form. And today, the travel guide is going to do that. So friends, uh, we couldn't get into Palod uh, Eco to uh, Tourism Forest due to some political issues. Uh, so, but we were uh, successful in getting permission to visit Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanic Garden and Research Institute. So, let's go inside and find out what's in store for us, what's happening inside Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanic Garden and Research Institute. What's it over there? All right. As we enter inside the botanical garden, a lush greenery garden awaits for us. It's completely man-made structure that we are seeing over here. There are lots of visitors, as you can see around. Two buses are there where we came in inside. These belong to the college students. They have come. So basically, every college students they can come down over here. There's a price chart over there. I will show you later on what the prices are. To, uh, Uh, get a permission for a ticket inside. You can't bring cameras inside, though. But we have got extra permissions for us, just for only uh, the travel guide, so that we can show you what's inside this botanical garden. So, guys, enjoy this one. So, as of now, we are just entering in, into the botanical garden. As I enter into the main area of the garden, I came on to a feminine figure over here. as i came to know it's the mother earth that she is shedding water tears for us so that the environment the nature can grow on so, so that we can grow on so this is basically a statue of mother earth this is how we should be respecting her for giving us everything and what we are basically trying is to exploit it and cause disaster to the nature and to the environment by using plastics and other non degradable materials so mother earth so basically uh, we are inside the botanical garden right now we will be going to the medicinal plants area we have our guide mrs kavita cheji with us she will be taking us around Throughout this botanical garden area, so this dam is there. Any kind of protection? Any kind of protection? No. At the moment, only. 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 At a very quiet serene environment over here you can see a very quiet lake this is 
is the medicinal plants area that we are entering into. Basically, I know one thing. This is Krishna Tulasi. Shereal, Krishna Tulasi. Yeah, this is what I know. Any change you want to bring? Yeah, dear. Okay, so basically, this is Ashang, a plant named Ashang. It is used for asthma and cough and all. When you come down over here. It's uh, literally written over here. So basically, if you are traveling alone, also you can recognize it by its name. Then the elegal you see, the leaves are used for asthma and cough and all. This is the Ayurvedic matra use in English medicines. Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic. Okay. So this is the basically use of the Maru or Lingal. This is the treatment. This is the Ayurvedic. Okay, so basically that's the easiest way to remove asthma and cough and all. But we guys are not using it because we are not educated about about these kind of stuff. So basically, this is to be understood. So basically, I was walking on these type of plants, but these are basically Bishop Pacha. It's used for. Uh, insect bites, ulcer, and anti-diabetic. See, very small plants and very small leaves, but these are these holds a lot of kind of medical properties, a lot of kind of Ayurvedic properties. So this is basically used for insect bites, ulcer, and it is also an anti-diabetic plant. We have a lot of trees in the middle of Roots of these ten plants are used to extract and then composed into a very good aristam called as the Shamula aristam. They said some kind of names and all, but I am not very good in those. But basically, so you come down over here, get to know more of this. This is the plants of modern medicine. Modern medicine is allopathy medicine. That is the same thing. 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 Okay, okay. This is Mexican Gajala, Himalayan Gajala. अरे ना सर्प गंदी ना क्या ना पर्यान कारण अदु इधर ना ना प्रेशर ने मरने वाला करना नहीं ना ओके अदु रह 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 इटलर चिड़िया ना ले अदे वाले रह रहा ना मट्टे दले ओके शरीर के केरला तले अदने उत्तरी कोर्नर टन दो दो Deep inside the botany garden right now, I can see a big red. And the itchy is Simsipa Vriksham. Simsipa Vriksham. Saila Sha. Sha. Simsipa Vriksham. This is the one who is sitting there. This is the one who is sitting there. Is he still there? They say like Ravana brought Sita and she, he, he gave her. And the other one? The other one? The other one. Okay, he made her sit over and under the roots of this tree. So basically, I was looking if she is still there. And as you go inside the botany garden, there is a huge pond-like structure over here. What do you see there? Big. This like, for me, it's like big plates. What do you see there? Anathamara. Anathamara. Giant water lily, Anathamara is the plant. Wow. There is a plant in the middle of the plant. Leaves can hold up till 5 kg, that's what she's saying. And there's a small bird over there, you can see. It basically blooms in the night, it's white in color and then turns into pink. So, 
वी आर एंटरिंग इन टू अ जोन इट्स अ डेंजरस जोन बेसिकली जिस चेड़ी ने पेटी प्लान are the plants that survive on eating insects you can see inside there are insects it's using some kind of chemicals to digest the insects i can see many carcasses of insects inside this i don't know if i can show you but uh you should never pluck these kind of things i found it uh, dropped down so basically it stinks too much this uh, this uh, this is the stink that's aroma to the most of the insects and they get attracted to this aroma and then fall prey to this kind of plant so really very stinky these are the area where uh, they produce this kind of plants and then this thing goes to nursery uh, at the entrance there's a gate there's a area where you can buy these kind of plants and then gingers gingers langa like ketla le so she won't allow yeah uh, it's restricted area you can't get into gingers whenever you come down over here it's like the same thing you are having a trekking experience you walk on to the soils and all so when you are bringing your kids when you are coming along with your families or with your spouse you can really enjoy the tranquility of of this area it's similar to like we are inside a jungle but we are very well protected i am told we have uh, wild pigs over here boars over here we have elephants over here and monkeys too much so basically this is a jungle and the kerala government is taking extra precautionary extra care and very good measurements and steps to preserve the environment as it is all thanks to the kerala government a very good scenic sight when you come down over here you can sit with along with your kids along with your friends you can have your small snacks if you are bringing over here as i usually say avoid plastics when you are coming down over here and bottles plastic bottles you can enjoy your snacks over here and behind me basically the chitar is flowing down very furiously you can see because it was raining for last 2 weeks we know the water quantity is too much but still it looks awesome sight it's an awesome sight when you sit down over here you just hear the uh, noise of the rows that are coming inside there's no other noise for you the snow vehicle noise or something basically i am at the entrance of itti achudan vaidyans herbal garden uh, a conservation education model herbal garden medicinal plant resources of kerala is de depleting day by day as they say yes it is depleting so they are conserving it over here so we will get inside it's a very good door type of thing we enter inside this building a very good well crafted door as you can see the pillars also typical kerala style there is a bell also over here are virlala okay that's good again there is a book over hortis horti malbar eda ide hortis malbar rc malbar malayalam malayalathile hortis malbar rc maray hortis malbar rc idanda ide sambo ide kerala thile aushad sasyangala kurichu adhyayam edhu pustakam aanu ओके ये ये लैंग्वेज है इधर शरीर ये डच्चियार ना नहीं दिया डच्ची मैंड्रीड ना नहीं दिया ऐसा दिया ओके ओके बेसिकली दिस इज़ द रेप्लिका मॉडल ऑफ़ द बुक और तू स्मलबारी कुछ रिटर्न बाय अ डच इट हैज़ ऑल द आयुर्वेदिक सीक्रेट्स इनसाइड इट तो बेसिकली इफ़ यू if you are a if you are a if you are passionate about learning about ayurveda and all try to get this book hortus malvaricus and then we move on to a lush green garden over here very good landscape that surrounds this area maintenance work is going on i encountered a huge tree over here uh, you might be knowing in your household we call in malayalam kundrika it's black damar that we use in households to for uh, for getting good essence uh, smells and all to rid away insects and all so basically the sap of this trees is used to manufacture black damar the name of this place is itti achudan's place so basically itti achudan is the man who helped the dutch uh, 
Dutch writer to write that book, Hortus Malvaricus. He is the person. And there's a small house over there. It that's the replica of Itti Achudan's house, which is situated in, in Alapuda. So this area is built in memory of Itti Achudan, and it it holds a lot of herbal trees inside it. So we'll just take a walk around this area to know more about it. So this is the replica model of Itti Achudan's house, a great pioneer in, Ayur, in Kerala Ayurvedic medicines and all. So basically, you have to remove your shoes if you want to enter. I'm trying to get inside. This is the house they have built, a literally a house over here. This is Itti Achudan over here. He's sitting, he's composing something. Basically, this is the replica, uh, this is the stance when uh, they use to check out your pulses. And also, I'm told if I keep my hands over here like this, this is how he looks at the pulses. This is how he can, if I keep my this hand also, this is how he looks at the pulses. So, looking at the pulses, it was not discovered by modern medicine. It was literally discovered by Ayurvedic Ajaryans itself. So, this is Mr. Itti Achudan looking at my pulses. And we have some utensils and other machineries over here that they use, especially for Ayurvedic medicines. You can see over here, the things and all the old type glasses and especially uh, not to forget the stick that he uses and yes one more thing it's very important kolambi as they say in malayalam i'll show you i had seen it in my grandmom's house and all but this can't be seen anymore nowadays uh, these days they used to spit when they use uh, beetle nuts and leaves uh, for their pleasure and then later on they spit into this one basically it's kolambi i don't know what it's called in english but Columbia. I was just coming on my way and suddenly I saw this tree. Looks like huge balls hanging out of a tree. It's uh, basically called, yeah, here it is. Cannonball tree or in Malayalam, Nagalinga Maram. It's the bark of this tree is used for skin diseases and all. You might have seen, it's really heavy, close to two. 2 kgs and all and there's a big one over here the shell has been ruptured literally it's heavy close to 5 kgs in my hand no wonder it's called cannon ball tree literally huge cannon balls are hanging outside this tree really awesome entering into heaven as you can see complete branched out tree has been formed over this roof it's called Mailpu or Aristolochia grandiflora something yeah basically it's Mailpu in Malayalam and you can see they have used it very well as though it's very hot outside it's sunny but I am feeling nothing it's completely wet and a moist feel inside when I'm standing over here Wow, really an awesome experience. If we can use these trees to cover our homes or make a small garden in our back backyard or in our homes and all, it will be an awesome treatment just to sit down over here and feel the real oxygen that you are breathing inside. There are close to 69 species of bamboo in total in whole of the world and here at this place at the single space we have all of that 69 species plus 10 different hybrid species that they have developed on their own and they have dedicated close to 25 acres of land especially for bamboo septum a, cult, a group of bamboos are called as bamboo septum so it is different bamboo. Okay. So the police lathis are made of these bamboos as you can see. They are very strong. Uh -huh. 